We're back, and uh, welcome back to the Community Report. We're talking now to uh, Mark Levine and Carla Donna, a donor, I'm sorry. Uh, Mark Levine is the owner of Wellspring Common Center for Massage Therapy. Center for Massage Therapy. And Carla, a donor, is a uh, registered massage therapist at the, at the, at the, at the Wellspring Common. And uh, also, uh, well, uh, your father, uh, Ron Donor, is a well-known um, person in, in Newmarket. Right. We know him for years. I know mm -hmm. Ron. Um, but t tell us a little bit about uh, the Wellspring Common, uh, let's see, a Center for Massage Therapy, uh, Mark. Well, we're, uh, we're a center that has a, a, a wide range of, of therapies available. Our focus, of course, is massage therapy, and we're registered massage therapists uh, practicing there. Uh, we also uh, have a number of different modalities, one of them being craniosacral therapy, which is a, a very light touch osteopathic technique that I, that I do. And you specialize in this, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I do specialize in that. Uh, Carla and uh, we have another uh, massage therapist besides Carla as well, who couldn't be with us today, uh, Brian Dormer, and he's, uh, he's also a certified fitness appraiser. and, and uh, among that's so how come I got your name mixed up? It's donor, <laughs> yeah, that's right. not dormer. <laughs> that right. some people do. That. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think you're a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> now I notice in your card, your business card, you have BA, mm -hmm. RMT. Um, you're a Bachelor of Arts yes. a graduate, and then uh, registered massage the therapist. What, right. uh, <laughs> what was the connection? Yeah. Well, originally I was in a, 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 a BA BSc program, uh, leading uh, essentially to medicine, and I did a, a fair bit of pre-med. Uh, I took a course in, uh, in uh, medical anthropology, and I turned my head around with regards to medical medicine. anthropology. Yeah, as, as part of your BA. Yes, it was. This was a minor in, in your, your your major, were you? Is that well? It was actually a combined oh. double honors program, and and, uh, and I eventually decided I didn't want to go into medicine for, for a variety of reasons. Oh, so you were a pre med student? Yes, I was. Yeah. And and uh, this was, where was this at the McMaster, McMaster University? Yeah. And you graduated from there. Yeah, and I graduated then summa cum laude from there with a degree in philosophy, which is what I did <laughs> my, my degree in. And, uh, and so what happened? Why did you decide to uh, become a, uh, a registered massage therapist? Well, I've always been interested in health care, uh, especially complementary health care. I've always been using complementary health care. Uh, we use it all the time for our children, and, and that, that's the, the background that I come from. And uh, massage therapy is a very wide, open field in the sense that it's not just for uh, feeling good or relaxation. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a wide, a wide variety of, uh, of medical applications. Now, uh, did, where did you take your courses for this? At uh, McMaster? No, no. For, for so RMT? For, no, that was at uh, the Canadian College of Massage and Hydrotherapy, which until last year was in Sutton. Uh, this year they've just moved into Newmarket. Well, that's the new business in downtown that's Newmarket. Right. That's right. Now, how long have you been doing the uh, massage therapy? Seven years. I've been in practice. Really? My seventh year, yeah. And I started off with Newmarket Central Health Center, which uh, was the first naturopathic center in, in, in Newmarket. Um, we just had a, uh, someone on from there, uh, Julie Goldring, from the Equinox Center. That's right. And, and she works with Anka Zimmerman, who was originally working with Rob Gatiss, who was the director of Newmarket Natural Health Center. And then you opened your own practice on... That's uh, where is it located? Now it's at 637 Davis Drive. Right across the street from the hospital. Right across the street from the hospital, on the north side. And, and can people find you in the yellow pages oh, yeah, of the book? Yeah. yeah, under massage therapy, stress management, holistic health care. Uh, and uh, how long have you been in business there now? This is our third year there. And in the interim, I was in there with a family physician for uh, three years. Now, we, there's been a lot of controversy. People have talked about massage therapy and you know, over the years of other things. Is, is this a regulated uh, oh, yes. in the, uh, profession now? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're regulated in the same legislation that doctors and dentists and, and all of the regulated health professions are. There are 22 regulated health professions, and we're one of them. And this is in, in Ontario? In Ontario. Now, how about on, uh, throughout pro the other provinces in Canada? Uh, British Columbia, they has a similar situation. In fact, their situation is more integrated into the healthcare system. They're under BC Med, which is the equivalent of OHIP there. In other provinces and territories, it is not yet regulated. There is a, a movement afoot to get regulation standardized across Canada. So this is just Ontario and BC for That's now, right. is it? Yeah. That they have this uh, uh, regulation. That's right. But why, why did you? Uh, this is interesting. Why did you call the your 
your business, uh, your or, or practice, the Wellspring Common. Well, is this a wellspring of? of uh, Absolutely. Wellspring is a is an, uh, a source of continual abundant supply, and uh, a common uh, is is an area that's open to anybody, uh, as in a, a common like in, in Britain, like a, a park. park and yes. so on. Yeah, no, a, a green space, open space. That's right. Now, who does what there? Uh, do you specialize in uh, in different things? Yes. You, you talked about uh, what's it called, the cranial cranial sacral thing. Cranial sacral therapy. I had yeah. a brochure on that, and I, I've, I've marked it up a wee bit. But that's that's uh, that's what you specialize. That's right. Are you the only one in, at the at the clinic that does it? That's right. Yeah. And, and what is it? What is uh, uh, cranial sacral therapy? Cranial sacral therapy is a very light touch osteopathic <laughs> technique. It comes out of uh, the, osteo the the osteopathic tradition, which are their physicians in the states and in Britain who use uh, manual medicine. And it's, uh, it's extremely light touch, uh, focusing on the nervous system and on connective tissue. Cranial being the, the head. Head, right. yeah, and sacrum is the, the bone at the bottom of the spine that fits into the pelvis. And well, this is not at the top of the... You no, know, it's the relationship between the two. Very often people come in with, with headaches, for example, and I'll work on areas of their pelvis and the headaches will go away. Uh, really? Well, how, well, what causes that? Well, there's a, if you can imagine that the brain and spinal cord are wrapped in uh, connective tissue, much like saran wrap. And uh, it's anchored or, or stuck to the bones on the inside of the cranium, only in certain areas of the, of the head and at the sacrum. The rest of it is free-floating through your spinal column. So uh, manipulating those two areas in particular uh, will, will allow for freedom of movement for the central nervous system. How about the people who have um, um, headaches? I'm thinking of... Um you know, uh, what do you call that? Those migraine? severe headaches? Migra migraine, migraine headaches? Yes. Would, would, would very much, very indicated for that. The, the focus of, of therapy uh, in terms of population is people with migraine headaches, people with uh, TMJ problems, that's jaw joint problems, uh, people with You mean like whiplash. with the overbite? No, no, I won't cure an overbite in, this, in, in, in the orthodontic sense, but it will help a lot with people who have pain uh, and, and dysfunction in the jaw joint. Some people have excruciating pain in the jaw joint or dizziness. Uh, or uh, hearing problems, um, uh, or ringing in the ears, that sort of thing. Can that help as well? Absolutely. Like tinnitus? Tinnitus, yeah. Tinnitus, that's what you can call. <laughs> and uh, so if someone was looking in and had some of these things, they, they could call you and, uh, and come to the clinic? Yeah. And you would look after this cranial sacral uh, mm -hmm. therapy, but uh, what's the difference between a physiotherapist and a, and a massage therapist? Well, physiotherapy, uh, Physiotherapy tends to be more pathology-based, even though, I w as I was just mentioning, we do have a lot of people with, with problems coming in. It's also, uh, massage therapy is also a wellness activity. So uh, uh, the other difference uh, often, typically, uh, and uh, this isn't true of all physiotherapists, but typically physiotherapists will use a lot of electronic uh, devices mm -hmm. in lieu of hands-on work. Uh, Though uh, there are uh, there are a number of physiotherapists who do use a lot of the hands-on techniques. Because there are people like with have whiplash injuries and knee and, and mm -hmm. back problems that doctors rec uh, refer them to physiotherapists. Right. That's right. For, for this particular purpose. That's but right. but do you get referrals as well? Oh, absolutely. We get a, a good portion of our, our of our referrals are from the doctors. And, and so how about someone who was in a in a uh, car accident who had a whiplash injury? You know, they uh, would this be referred to you? Yeah. I mean, some some doctors are are are, are convinced that mas that massage therapy is the appropriate modality because it is hands-on. It it offers uh, both uh, uh, therapy for both the physical problems and a lot of the emotional issues that go along with with having had a trauma. Now, I I talked to someone uh, recently who had uh, multiple sclerosis (MS), mm -hmm. and uh, they go mm -hmm. at least I think twice a month mm -hmm. to a massage therapist. I don't I didn't mention who it was, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, what type of, how would that help someone who has uh, MS? This is a sort of a muscular, it's a nerve thing. Really. Sure, it is. It, uh, MS, MS is, a, is a mysterious disease and it goes through exacerbations and, and remissions. Uh, uh, it can help a great deal with, uh, with uh, some of the muscular spasms that come along, especially in the advanced stages of MS. Um, uh, and, uh, how I, about I, people with other physical, uh, other disabilities such as um, cerebral palsy, who have a difficulty again, you know, with again, that's motor movement. And so yeah, would that help? Yeah, sure. It would help to relieve a lot of the spasticity. Um, SARS therapy is, is, is very, very much indicated in this. How situation. about children, Carla? Do you, do you often get children, people under 18, um, who come in? 
Mark deals with a few of the, the children. I haven't yet. I do have one.